Hi there, and thanks for joining us for this Noteworks video tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with Noteworks version 2 and walk you through the first steps you need to take when you're logging into your Noteworks account for the first time to start using your database. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is add an investor to your database. In Noteworks, all loans and all files are categorized by investor. That can be any kind of source of capital you want it to be, an individual investor, a fund, maybe a joint venture, whatever you want, but you have to have at least one investor entered in your database to begin adding loans. So let's add that first investor. To do that, head to the settings tab at the top of your screen. And on the left hand side of all the settings options, you'll see a tab called investors. Click that and you'll be taken to the investors screen. Currently I have no investors to find because I've just logged into my account for the first time. So to add my first investor I'm going to click the green add investor button here and then I'll receive a prompt with any information I'd like to add about an investor. Um, almost everything is optional. The only required field here is the name of the investor. So for example I'll call my first investor the Alpha Fund and then once you're done filling all of this out, head to the bottom of the screen. There's a blue Add Investor button. Click that, and you've got your first investor. So now that you've got your first investor set up, you're going to want to change a couple things about your account details and probably add some more users to your database besides yourself. So to do that, first let's head back to the My Account tab. Go on the left, click My Account at the top of the list here. And you'll be taken to your My Account screen where it has all your account credentials, all your personal information filled out here. One of the things you're going to want to change about this is changing the default password that's provided to you when you first signed up for Noteworks. So to do that, go to the Account Credentials section here and find the Edit button right here. Click it you'll get a password update prompt and you can just type in any new password here click update password and you're good to go one other thing you're going to want to change about your account is you'll want to upload a user avatar now this avatar is just a personal picture a photo of yourself it's very useful throughout the database when identifying users um, and what they've done, different activities and events completed by users elsewhere in the database. So to add an avatar, you can see here when you first log in, you have no avatar, but there's an option to click this button to add an avatar. So go ahead and click that, and you'll have a option to choose a file here from your system. Again, it can be any picture of you. So I'll go ahead and add a picture of myself here. Click Save Avatar. And if you need to crop your avatar, resize it, you can do that here. Mine's square, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it again. And there you go. I've got a very presidential looking picture of myself here as my avatar. So with that, one other thing you're going to want to change before you add any other loans, potentially, is adding other users. So to do that, click the Users tab on the left, and then you'll see a table of all current users in your system. As you can see, uh, I'm currently the only user. So to change that and add another user, you're going to click the green Add button up at the top here again. That will take you to an add user prompt. Um, you can see here that uh, the required fields are only a user's name, their email address, uh, their, their login, their username, their password, and user group. So I'll fill this out and show you what that looks like. I'm just going to add a test user here.
And one thing worth noting as well is uh, at this stage you can specify a totally custom password for this new user. So I'll do that. And finally, one other thing that I should mention is you're going to select a user group for any new user. Now, a user group in Noteworks is just a predefined set of access levels or permissions um, that controls what different users can see in your database. The two user groups that come out of the box are administrator and user. Um, an administrator has full access by default to everything in the database. A user has somewhat limited access. They can see loans and see files, but maybe they can't change some of the more um, advanced settings in the settings tab, for example. So these can be changed and added and customized later. For now, I'll just make this new user a basic user. I'll click create user at the bottom. And there you go, you've got your first user. So now that you've got your account set up and your first investor added, you can begin importing loans into Noteworks. So to do that, click the new loan button at the top of the page and you'll be taken to the new loan tab. Now here we give you a couple options to import loans into Noteworks, one of which I'll cover in this video, and that is uploading loans one at a time using the form provided on this page. So as you can see there are a couple required fields here. We need to specify a lien position, uh, the investor that the loan belongs to, which is why we added that investor before, loss mitigation status, loan number is of course required, Borrower's name is, again, of course, required as well. So we'll just add some dummy data in here. Property type is a required field, as is occupancy status. And, of course, the address of the property itself is required as well. Just continue filling out some dummy data here. And the last required field is the acquisition date of this file. So other than that, there will probably be some more fields you want to add in to this loan, like the purchase price, the note details, like the principal balance, payment information, interest rate, all that good stuff, all the property information and financial information can be added into this form as well. Once you've got everything added that you want, Head down to the bottom of the page and click the Submit button, and you'll have entered your loan into Noteworks. Now, as I mentioned, there is another option for adding loans into your database, and that is to upload them in bulk off of a spreadsheet, which you can import into the system. However, that'll be a, a subject of another video tutorial. So for now, thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can always refer to the user guide for Noteworks version 2, which details all the information presented in this video, and you can always write us or call us with any questions you have or help you may need. Thanks a lot for choosing Noteworks.